All right, so welcome to this week's nootropic study of the week, which is on alpha GPC and caffeine. The uh, study design was so that 24 different participants were divided into four different groups of 12 people in each group receiving either placebo, 200 milligrams of caffeine, or 250 milligrams of alpha GPC, or 500 milligrams of alpha GPC. And the tests that were administered to these all of these groups were the isometric mid pull test, the psychomotor vigilance test, as well as the counter movement jump test and the upper body isometric test. Uh, I think that's what that last one is called. Let me just double check. Yeah. So what did they find on all of these tests? Well, caffeine is the only one which they found a positive significant effect for on any of these tests and that was on the isometric mid thigh pull test so that sort of didn't surprise me it did surprise me both at the same time because it was after six days which would indicate to me that the tolerance of caffeine would have started to build up but Caffeine is, of course, a very potent nootropic when you do not have a tolerance to it and it does work for physical performance. That is one of the most evidence-backed nootropics out there. But in regards to alpha-GPC, they didn't find any positive effects on any of these tests in this study. They did find positive effects on these tests in other studies. And they did find in this study and in all of those other studies a large individual variance in the response to alpha GPC. So some people had a large positive effect, some people had a negative effect, some people had a neutral response. And that indicates that we need a lot more data to determine which people in which circumstances will benefit from alpha GPC. And uh, the effect size for the caffeine was around 0.4 measured by Cohen's D, which is a small and approaching moderate effect size. We measure effect sizes by Cohen's D and normally say that a 0.2 and smaller effect size is a non-effect, no effect essentially. And larger than 0.2 is a small effect, larger than 0.5 is a moderate effect, and larger than 0.8 is a large effect. So this study found a moderate effect from caffeine on the strength test, isometric mid pull test.